Hi guys, Wordfry here with episode 2 of Midnight Mystery Salem Witch Trials, and yeah, this is how the menu of the game really it looks like. And when I sh well shut down the game or whatever you say, then it wanted me, then it prompted me to uh, state the name. So now we're not player anymore. Actually, Wordfire, and I have no idea how, who this is. But I guess we will know. Probably someone tried for a witch. So we have this lovely unlimited HO, which I'm not going to do, and we have achievements and yeah, other stuff. So um, let's get into it. Story mode of adventure, thrills, chills, and treachery. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so we are going to check out the house to the left here. Oh yeah, I got the special cursors in too. I love those. I love that skeleton hand. Alright, so what's happening here? Ravens? Ravens? Come on, Ravens. Oh. Hello. Roger Conant, born 1592, founder of Salem, 1626. The founder of Salem. This is the guy who would know everyone. Yep. Probably he's the big Puritan back there. Ah, Salem Village Courthouse. Jonathan Corbin Sheriff. Oh, there. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. So door. Whoa. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm like, please don't open. Okay, nobody's at home. Right. Um. I guess we'll go back and get the Puritan here. Give him his little shield, whatever, plaque, I meant, of course. Oh, goody. Waking up. At your service, stranger. Why did you came, come to Salem? I came to start a Puritan settlement away from the stic strict pilgrims of Plymouth. What was your occupation? At first I managed the fishing trade. Later I was charged with dividing tracts of land and settling land disputes. You know where Nathaniel Hawthorne's grave is located? If I had my shovel, I could show you. Really? You want a shovel? Okay, goodbye. Ah, uh, right. Here's a shovel. Whoa! His grave is here? Oh, goody. Um. Oh, we gotta go down into his grave, really? Ah! Alright. Okay. We're traveling. This traveling is so much better. Game. Fourth game. Examine the circumstances of my death. Alright. Um. Yeah. Seems legit. With trepidation, I jumped into Hawthorne's grave and made another leap. I sent the woods of an unknown time and place. It's cold here. A uh, feeling of danger. A campfire draws me to the left. Uh, a passage on the right leads to some kind of settlement worth checking. Large tree overlooking the valley is very familiar. I think I saw it somewhere. I must examine the circumstances of Hawthorne's death. Oh look, we're 10% complete. We're 10% through the game. I love this. Oh, how I told you guys I love it. I love it. Alrighty, there's one of those. Raven. Have I missed a raven somewhere? I don't think so. I uh, hope I don't. What is this? A uh, railroad spike. Alright. And we'll take. This looks crafted by someone in the black arts. Let's take the serpent cane. Uh, what do we want to do with the tree? 
think. Oh, wow. I got over there? Really? Oh, made in Salem. Uh, oh, I was clicking there. Oh. How in the world does this giant carcass get up here? I like that you get like um, clues in the hidden object scenes for the like the story in the whole story. Uh, all right, so this is a clue, I guess. I don't know, skull? No, maybe not. Uh, what are we looking for? Okay, so we're looking for lots of guns. Never cocked and never fired. Trouble either came as a surprise, or as an unsuspected friendly face, or it never happened. Uh, whatever that meant. Yay! Random click. Oh! This tool, like others you may have, is used much later. Your challenge is to deduce when and where each in inventory tool is used. It's almost coughing up blood. Why are you... Alright. Oh. Oh! I got the pan. Alright. Eh. What? Alright. Uh, whatever. Boot prints. <gasps> violin! What? Who's put the poor violin out here? Oh, it's gonna get all weird now. This is gonna sound all weird now with the strings getting totally out of tune. Cold is not good for violin. Cold is not good for your violin. Mm, portrait. Notebook. Portrait. Portrait. Really here. Portrait. Notebook. Ah, sugar cu cubes. Oh, I got matches. Another handgun. Um, no, come on. This isn't fun anymore. Come on. Your sugar cubes. Now, where is this handgun? Come on, please. Where are you? In portrait and notebook? I don't understand. Where? Oh, oh, oh! Someone felt threatened. Oh, they were all in here. No wonder I couldn't find them. Beef jerky. I barely know what that is. Uh oh. Okay, smoked meat or something. Um. Oh, the cave is sealed shut. Maybe I'll investigate it later when the blizzard subsides. All right, these woods are sh were shared. A little more high brow than a delta pin. What? Uh, any clovers? No. Alright. There's a little blood around here. Oh god. Something's happening. Oh god. Whoa! I'm sorry I clicked you. What uh, beef jerky? You seriously went away because I gave you beef jerky? I'm happy and confused. Um yeah. Any ravens? Oh, come on! There has to be ravens! I want more ravens! I want my buddies, my guides! 
Alright. Raven! The wolf just wasn't right. It has a supernatural presence. At least it was a jerky fan. <laughs> no one in the woods. Uh, I thought I could have eerie sounds on Native American drums. Uh, an uninhabited village. Inhabited, not uninhabited. Uh, most excited that the train at the station is a presidential train. Hawthorne was friends with Franklin Pierce and a political appointee. I'm sure that will find answers on this train. Alright. Here's a clover. Um so we can go there. We can examine this and we can go into the train. What a nice sleepy village. I'll stick to where the action is and let those folks get their shut eye. Alright. Platform is empty, no sense just waiting around. Okay, let's go this way. Any Ravens or clovers? Oh, this is Hollingworth Inn! This is what we're looking for, right? Oh, <gasps> clover! Uh... Oh, hello! Oh god, there are four of them. There are four of them. Alright, hello. You look in over your head, Greenhorn. Bad hand. Your accent, you're not from New England, are you? What would that mean? I'll tell you what, nothing. I have no idea what accents New England people have, but do the tribes pose a threat against our military? The superstitious always have some kind of great protector. My kind of protector is made of iron and spits hot lead. Alright. I saw some Native American artifacts in the wood. Are there any hostilities? This area was tribal land with hard feelings on both sides. Plymouth and Salem, New Hampshire, all sacred tribal sites in York, Maine. Oh, Pl Plymouth and Salem, New Hampshire, our sacred tribal sites, in New York, Maine, was home to a massacre of settlers on a witch's Sabbath. Okay, I'm reading it right. Oh, you disappeared. Uh, yeah. Hollingworth. What, what will it be? I'll take something hot to drink. What's all the commotion? Some writer from Salem was visiting with the president. He got separated in a surprise blizzard and wasn't strong enough to recover. He just passed. What is this town? We're in Plymouth, New Hampshire, home of former President Franklin Pierce. Anything unusual about Mr. Hawthorne's death? Like the doc said, exposure from the elements, the guy had soft hands. What was Pierce thinking when he brought his feeble friend to an inhospitable part of the country? Um, goodbye, I meant. Who are you? Talbot, my cursed ailments of old age. The only thing I care to rely on is my cane. Have you seen it? I have. Here you go. Much better. People should be wary of this place. Sure it's cold here for this time of year. The snowy natural. No one I heard of in this town I ever died of winter exposure in May. Holy shoebox. You must have watched President Pierce grow into a statesman. Grow into a fool is more like it. But he's our fool. Yet some in power still want to embarrass him for short sighted leadership that helped us get to a civil war. Uh, right. I don't really know my American history, sorry, but I guess. I heard a lot of howling up there. It's, it's those woods. I always keep silver around me to keep the werewolves off. Here's a silver coin to protect you. Oh, thank you. What? That looks like my lucky coin. Why didn't I tell take my freaking lucky coin? Alright. Who are you? Off limits. No one is allowed inside with the president. What do you have to prove you are a friend of his? A uh, college friend? Oh. Hello. Franklin Pierce. He's a real president, right? I am Franklin Pierce. Thank you for returning my friend's pen. What can I do for you? What happened out there, Mr. President? Excuse my appearance. It has been a very difficult ordeal. I'm sure you have heard of the tragedy that befell my friend when we were in the woods. I've detailed the strange events in my diary. Doesn't your friendship to Hawthorne go back quite a way? Since our college days, 1824 was such a memorable year. Nathaniel Henry... Nathaniel Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Oh, Nathaniel Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and I received our Bowdoin pins together. Will you be leaving soon? 
I'll be staying. The train belongs to the Lincoln administration. Secretary Stanton arranged to take Nathaniel's body back to Salem. Strange. I thought him, that main man hated everyone, especially Nathaniel and I. Goodbye. Uh, Alright, so a lot of talking to ghosts and getting more of his story. This humorless guard does not let me in back back room when he talks to President Pierce. Blah blah blah. What? We already got past them. 13% complete. Right, let's go in the back room. Oh, goody! It's a floating body thing. Oh, someone lost a button. And we're not gonna take it? Seriously? Alright. Hawthorne's wife, Sophia Peabody. Allegiance to the North and South. Okay, so what do I do with this? Uh, right. There we go. Whoa. Hello, doctor. Oh, you must be the president's assistant. Sure. What else do you need to know about this man's death, other than he died of exposure and suffered from a degenerative brain ailment? Was there any blood in the body? Three long gashes on his back, probably caused by hard fall. Really? Really? Maybe some tree or a rocky ledge or even onto some sharp ice. Ah, that sounds pretty suspicious to me. Did you examine the blood? There were abnormally high traces of lead in his system. It may have been enough to have caused his deteriorating mental condition. Well, anything strange about his wounds? Both legs and one arm was broken. He also had a great deal of blood in his throat. Of course you get that from falling down, right? Or blizzards. Oh. I will take that. I've always been a good listener. Uh, should we lick the body? Alright. Oh, okay. I thought something would happen. Nathaniel, whatever happened to you, I'll get to the bottom of it. Okay, nothing happened. Thank you. Better check the room again for something I can use. Really? Whoa! Holy crap. Ah, what? I have clicked everywhere! Please help me. I need to choose an item from the inventory so that the raven can show me where to use it. Uh, why can I not leave the room? Seriously. I better check the room again. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And oh, all right. I'll take the scalpel. Are we done now? All right. Oh, all right. Hello. You are close to some important information, or I would not have been able to materialize. My energy to appear and help you is depleting rapidly. Uh, how do you get your wounds? I did not see my attacker. With no warning, I felt the throbbing numbness of an attack. My soul felt it as if it were flying above my body. Were you ever exposed to lead? Not to my knowledge, but my ailment began to set in some time after I published an article at the behest of President Lincoln and Secretary Stanton. Pierce was a military man. Can he be trusted? I trust him with my life. He helped me at every port and turn in my life. Goodbye. Alright, so his body is gone. Whoa! What? What is happening? Oh, we're being moved. I should have done what he was. He should have done what he was told. Oh, we're being moved like Nathaniel. All right. Message acknowledged. Like get. Let's get out of this town. Hurry up! You don't have to be gentle with a dead, traitorous writer. I'm done with this charade of serving peers. Oh, goody. Everyone seems to have an opinion about Hawthorne's death. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Natural blizzard in May. Blah, blah. Opportunity is just present itself. Hawthorne's body is going to be carried to the train. The bag is empty and I'm just the one to fill it. That stubborn guard is going to give me a ride right to the answers. 
All right. But I'm going to be so fantastically nice here. So we're going to stop here inside the bag. So episode two is up. So stay tuned for episode three when we're getting out of the bag and seeing what is happening. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope I'll see you soon.